So is it possible, even at the age of 31, an advanced age for a swimmer, that you could have a personal best still in you? I hope. You know, I mean, I, I haven't done the best time since 2009. And, and you know, in our, in our sport, it's like, you know, you don't want to work for a year or two or three or four years and not get faster. I'm swimming faster than I have then. Uh, and and um, potentially it could happen. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say no, but I, I would love to see a best time. Um, and, and I think whatever happens in Rio, I'll be able to turn the page and know that that was the best that I could do. Some of your teammates are obviously your friends, but they're also your rivals. Yeah. It's clear that there's a lot of mutual respect between you and Ryan Lochte. On the other hand, he holds the 200 IM record. You've yeah. always prevailed at the Olympics, <laughs> but he holds the record. And you can't BS me. You want the record, right? I mean, obviously, I would love to do a best time. And if I did a best time, that would be at the record or under. And, and you know, I can honestly say that I don't know if I've ever had a competitor for this many years that I still go head to head with, that we are literally stroke for stroke in every single race. Mm -hmm. And Ryan's that. And, and Neither one of you would be as good without the other, probably. No, I agree. I mean, he, he definitely pushes me because I hate to lose, and I push him because he's probably the same exact way. I mean, neither one of us want to take second. So we're going we're gonna to have a dogfight every time we get in the pool. By total medals, by longevity, by gold medals, you're the greatest Olympian ever. Do you think of yourself as the greatest Olympian or just the greatest swimmer? I think of myself as, as the greatest person that I can be. That's it. I'm not going to go out of my, you know, out on the limb and say I'm the greatest this or that. I, I just, I was a kid with a dream. That's it. And, and um, you know, the people before me set the bar so high. And, and I was a little kid that wasn't afraid to dream as big as I could. And that's really it. I, you know, like you said, like we were talking before, I, I was dedicated, I was hardworking, and that put me in the shoes where I am now.